Many years ago I had some videos with the uh, Nitro remote control car. You know, I've always been on and off, but currently I'm back into it, but now I'm using electric. There's no fuel that makes everything covered in oil and all kinds of dirt and no glow plugs to blow and I don't have to sit there for 10 minutes going This is much easier. You literally just put your battery in, you flick a switch, easy as that, you're ready to go. You are ready to go. Easy as that, takes seconds. So, what I've done here, this is a uh, HR31, um, much like my actual real life car. I'll just zoom into that, I wasn't going to do this, but yeah, I'll zoom into it. I did mess up the paint a fair bit because it was my first time painting something with an airbrush with uh, pearl colors. Other than that, I think I did pretty well. It isn't finished yet either. So, right now, you can see the hazard lights have come on. Um, there's an indicator there. Good. You see that? Ah, the lights. Yep, you can see the two indicators there. Uh, at the front, the headlights themselves have uh, three different lights each. There's a position light, a high beam, and the low beam. These two, the low beam and just the position, they actually have chrome painted over them so that the light only shines inwards towards the light bucket, which is chrome, and then that bounces the light out so it's not very bright. You can look at it easily. The high beam, which is a, actually a projector lamp on a real car, I've left as it is so it's a, it's a very bright light. The back of the car has the brake lights. I need to install one more indicator and uh, one more indicator and also the reverse lights. So currently, the brake lights come on when you hold the brakes and the backfire. Now, right now it's in reverse, so the reverse lights will come on when that's installed. And I'll do one brake light here as well. So, um, actually, I might even do little license plate lights. I'll see, I might do that. So, because I, I just love this. The other thing I've done is, um, I'll have to bring the car closer. The brake lights and the windows and the headlights are um, tinted. You can see through the front window and you can see through the side windows as well, but just barely. The same goes with the headlights. One more handy thing is, there's a switch here which I can press that changes these patterns. So there are seven different ones like that. The brake lights also flash, and as do the indicators. So there are seven different patterns there. This is so good. Just look at that. I think you might actually see what I mean about the buckets. How the left and the right one aren't very shiny, but very bright, but the middle one is super bright. Um, so, I believe seven patterns. If this was a four channel, which is only a three channel um, controller, I would have been able to do more. But for now, I can only change that. So, I'll have another update when everything is finished. And this stuff is really fun. Um, I played around with aeroplanes as well. Not too successfully, but I'm learning. By that I mean I've crashed them. Um, so, this is just great fun. You wire everything up yourself and it's... It just works so well, and it looks so damn good. Look at that. Alright, I've got other ideas about things which I will do in future videos as well, so stay tuned for that. And uh, if you haven't given this a try, um, just look up on YouTube, uh, RC, you know, remote control cars, drifting, and uh, it might just be something that you will enjoy doing.